Yeah. But if you would do what they did, watch the people who are blessed doing praise and worship. They don't have their legs crossed. They don't have their arms folded. They don't act like it could just come or go. But they say, I got to do what I got to do to get what I got to get. And they annoy you and they perturb you because they're so rambunctious in their worship. But are there any desperate people in this house who says, I could care less what my neighbor thinks? They don't know what I was going through last night. So if my praise gets on your nerves, then get out of the way. You can three people just get out of the way. Get, 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 get. Get out of the way. My God, I said I was going to teach. I feel some push to me this morning. If, if, if you go back in, in, in the book of Isaiah, one of my favorite books, they call him the Eagle Eyed Prophet. And when you survey the book of Isaiah, uh, during chapters 1 through 39, it talks about retribution and great judgment. You will see God talking about punishment that should come upon Israel. And then when you switch over to chapter 40, there's a sharp contrast, so much that many theologians think that it was a different writer who writes the second half of the book. Of John, excuse me, of Isaiah. Because Isaiah comes in in Isaiah chapter 40 and he says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith the Lord. I learned that in Bible ball, praise the Lord. And what happens is he says, Speak comfortably to Jerusalem that her warfare is accomplished. You remember that, Jay? And that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. And what I noticed in Isaiah is that I serve a God of judgment who says, I am not playing with you. But the same God who says, I'm going to beat you, is also the God who says, I'm going to love you. Aren't you glad that God's love goes past your sin? Oh my God. The Bible says, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. And, and don't roll your eyes at me because I messed up. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on both of our sides, amen, where would I be? I, the worst thing that I hate are church folks who are stuck up acting like it, it was you who did what you did. God says, it was because of his mercies that you were not consumed. So how dare you sit in praise and worship rolling your eyes at the prostitute who walks in because the same blood that kept her is the same blood that's keeping you. Will you high five your neighbor and say, I know that's right.